Have you ever wondered how people control their anger? Have you ever seen someone who's calm in the worst of situations? And even if somebody's yelling and screaming and angry and agitated, this person has the skill and ability to stay calm, composed, and really can change the situation or the conversation and really influence the person to be more positive, more optimistic, and sometimes even let go of the anger. In this video, I want to share with you an acronym which is going to help you get over anger. And the acronym is CARES. Now, if you care enough about someone and you have issues with anger specifically, I understand, you know, in the over umbrella, we understand that people who are angry are more uh, stubborn, they are probably perfectionist, or they can't deal or cope with a situation which is against their mindset. Having said that, how does this person really communicate? Now, this could be in any situation. It could be in your business. It could be with your parents, with your kids, with your spouse, with anybody in society that when you go and you really tick off and you realize that I'm going to get angry or I'm really getting agitated or irritated with my children or with my spouse or with my colleague boss, this acronym will help you. Now, it starts with communication. So cares, once, when, you, when you care enough about the opposite person, you will be able to start communicating. And the C of the cares is communication. It starts with communication. Often people who are angry don't communicate, right? They are just yelling and shouting and reacting to someone's something. Someone didn't do what they said. Someone didn't, did something which is not as per their standard. They get ticked off. They get angry. They yell. Kids, spouse, job, work. And this person probably does not care enough in terms of the acronym. And I'm going to help you begin the communication. So, of course, we know okay, I should communicate and I should not get angry and I should not get ticked off and I should not get aggressive. So, what do I do? You need to communicate. That is the first C. The A stands for ask, right? When you are getting angry, it helps to come immediately ask a question, right? Rather than react, ask a question. Why is the work not done? Or what happened? Or why was it delayed? Or why did you do something what you did which probably you don't like or you don't approve of? Ask the question, right? Once you ask a question, the opposite person gets an opportunity to answer. That kind of gives them an opportunity to give you an answer so that you can cool down a little bit and you gather more information rather than react and tick off and then say something that you probably are going to regret or hate doing or saying. So A stands for ask. Then we move down to R. R is once you, once, uh, you ask and they start giving you information, you can then start to request that, okay, this is what, so I would request if you can do something or I would request if you don't do something, it could be with your kids or with your spouse or anybody at work, that there is a request. I would request if next time you take this in account. I would request if you can do your work on time or keep your things or do whatever you said you would do on the time that you said you would do it. So it's a request. So often when you start asking a question, you get more information and then you request, the opposite person also is obliged to listen and understand what you want. At the same time, when you're requesting and using the CARES abbreviation to overcome anger and not get the results which you want, you are basically communicating in a way that the opposite person understands, he remembers, because you asked, you gave him the opportunity to say what they wanted, and now you're requesting rather than yelling and dominating, how many times I told you you have to do this and you guys don't understand and it's always like this and I'm fed up and I'm upset and I'm sick and tired and all of those things which you already know if you're the angry person watching this video and you know what you do. So next time, communicate rather than react, ask a question and then request. The next is E, which stands for explain, right? When you ask a question and when you request, sometimes you don't explain your point of view. When you're, when you're explaining, you're explaining your point of view, your perspective, right? You are not, you are not really uh, just saying, I want this, this has to be done, this is not allowed. 
you're really saying why you are wanting what you want. So you're explaining. So I think, you know, uh, we should do this in a better way with children. It helps if everybody is organized or if you can put your things in place. It really helps me understand or help the entire house stay clean and organized. It's more positive. It's more cleaner. And you're sharing your perspective. You're explaining your perspective. Often I see people when they're angry, they are ticked off on some situation and then they just react. They don't ask a question. They don't request. And they are not even explaining what is their point of view. I said this has to happen means this has to happen and that's it. I don't want to hear anything and I don't want to explain anything. How do you expect the opposite person to comply? How do you expect the opposite person to be inspired to do what you want to do? Unless you explain your point of view. Now, when you're explaining your point of view, it's really biased. It's, uh, it's not biased. It is open. It is a communication channel. So you're explaining your point of view. It's chances that that person will also explain his or her point of view. And honestly, unless you understand the bigger picture as to what do you want here, why do you want your children to do this? Why do you want your spouse to do this? Why do you want your team or your colleague or anyone to do anything? You need to explain your point of view. And at the same time, you need to be open to listen to the other person's point of view also. And the last but the most important in cares when it comes to being angry and overcoming your anger to make it more productive, the situation and more positive is share. I often see people do not share. And when I say share, I don't mean share just information. I specifically mean share your feelings. I'll repeat, share your feelings. So when you want to overcome anger and there is something which is inside you and you're not okay with the situation, you need to share how you feel to be able to communicate and be able to influence the other person. So what do I mean? You could tell your kids, I really feel, I really feel irritated or I really feel upset or I feel uh, whatever you feel when they don't do something or they do something which you don't approve of. Share your feeling. It would really help if you guys don't do this. It really, I'm tired from work or then, and then this has to happen and I, I don't feel connected. I don't feel respectful or I don't feel you guys really respect or listen to me. And once you start sharing your feelings with your, it could be at work also. Sometimes people say, oh no, I can't share my feelings at work. It's being very vulnerable. Why not? Unless you share your feelings at work, you rather than building up resentment and then getting angry and bursting, you will be able to communicate effectively, more positively. It'll be a healthy environment when you share how you feel. And when you share how you feel, you are being vulnerable, yes, but you also allow the opposite person to equally share their feeling. And you, I often see that angry people, a person who's very angry and, you know, they have so much resentment inside is because they're not emotionally letting it out. They are just keeping it in. They don't trust people or they think, oh, people won't understand. You need to share. You need to share more when you want to deal with your anger. And if you really want to communicate powerfully, if you want to influence the person opposite and you want to get more work done and more productive and get the results you want, you really need to share your feelings. So again, you need to communicate. If you're the angry person, communication is the key. And to help you communicate better, you need to ask questions. What why the person did what the person did. So ask questions, then make a request, right? Make a request for whatever you want happen. Explain why you're making this request. What is the reason? What is the background? What is the bigger picture? And then last but not least, make sure that you are sharing your feelings to the opposite person. And once you use the CARE acronym, I promise you, you will be able to get more focused. You will be able to get more results and more connection with whoever you are getting angry at. So next time when you get angry, make sure you're more alive and fearless. You use the acronym and you start communicating rather than getting angry and getting upset. And honestly speaking, let's, let's agree that whenever we get angry and irritated and frustrated, you also know and I know and we both agree that nothing gets done, right? Everybody's upset, everybody's yelling, everybody's crying, the whole environment in the house is bad, the environment at work is bad. And actually, it's, it's not helping nobody. So make sure you use this acronym, share it with people whom you know, get ticked off, are angry and get irritated and really get upset about being angry again. And because they don't know what else to do, it will really help them as a format to be able to communicate more powerfully, more effectively. So their point goes across and everybody 
gets helped in the environment and the situation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you post your comment below if you are someone who's angry and if this helps you, share it with other people, share the video with other family members or friends. Make sure to go to mutsabadi.com and opt in for more training resources and updates and subscribe to this channel to keep receiving every uh, uh, videos every time that we release every Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Stay alive, stay fearless, dream big, stay strong and I'll see you soon in the next Alive and Fearless video.